Hello everybody, Mugabe Man here and welcome to another Canva Pro video tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at how you can play around with the text, the text pro feature in the Canva Pro to add a little bit of dimension into your designs. Alright, so to begin with, we need a design and as always, you can just type into the search bar to look for the type of design that you are looking for or you can just search through the categories that are available, the templates that are available. Alright, so so in this video, we are going to choose a little bit of a different template. Since we are going to look at typography, I'm going to look for a template right here in uh, education. And then I'm going to scroll through and browse through. You have things like flyers, you have things like uh, presentations. I think this is a good template we can use to demonstrate the text pro feature. You can even choose from some of these related templates. I'm just going to use, I'm, going, I'm just going to click use template for now. And then we are going to jump into the Canva online graphics editor. And then you can be able to select the text that you want to edit to use the powerful text tools available. For example, with Text Pro, you can be able to upload fonts, you can be able to upload custom fonts. And we looked at this in the first video when we were looking at the brand kit pro feature in canva pro where you can be able to upload logos and create color palettes for your designs for your brand so the first thing we are going to look at if you select the text is you can be able to change the things like the fonts now again when you select the text that you want to edit and go to, and go back to the fonts notice we have all these fonts which are available for you and if you are using canva basic you might not get access to some of these fonts all right anyways the next is the font size you can be able to choose the font size from here next is the font color you can be able to choose the color notice we have this color palette that we created to use for our brand via the brand kit the next thing is if you select the text for example let's select this text up here you can be able to choose whether you want bold or you don't want bold now seems like I can't demonstrate this on this text given the font the type of the font so if I select this one and make it a little bit bigger a little bit more visible you can be able to see that you can make this bold or light anyways the next one is the italic the next one is the underline the next tool is for an alignment whether you want to align it from left left center or right next one is the caps or the uppercase if you want to make your text uppercase or lowercase next one is the blatings or the numbers this would be very powerful especially if you are creating brochures or something like that the next one is these little dots three little dots and if you click on it you have more options like the space whether you want to reduce the space between the letters or the space between the lines of text all right these others apply if you have anchor text the next one is copy style for example copying the style means you are copying the font and the color of the text and then you are moving it to another page or to another you're applying it to another text for example let's apply it to let's try it to this one down here if i go back and click on a copy style and then if i apply it on this text notice how this text becomes the same font and the same color right the next one is the link you can be able to, to link this text you just click on link and then place the url that you want to link to and then click apply next one is lock for example if i change this and i didn't if i didn't want people to move this or to edit the link that i've placed I'll just click I'll just lock this one then you can't be able to select it or edit it or make any changes to it all right compared to the next one if I selected this one notice we have all these options up here but with this one all the options have disappeared so I can't make any changes to it can't even delete it anyways some, those are some of the most important options that you need to know about typography the text pro feature in canva pro if you need it that's where you can find it can come in and make any changes to your text 
and I hope this gets you up and running with your typography game in Canva and I hope you learned a lot from this I hope you enjoyed the video make sure to join me in the next video where we are going to look at how to use folders to organize your work can't wait to see you there see you in the next one